हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल स्पिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आई टी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो इज फिफ्टीन थिंग्स यू मस्ट डू आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग द डीप इन लिनिक्स ट्वेंटी पॉइंट थ्री सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Whenever we install any operating system, there are some things that we should do in order to get the best out of that operating system. Same goes for deep in Linux. Number one, update. Whenever we install a new system, some updates must be done to get the best performance. And to do so, we need to open our terminal. So here is my terminal, and in that, I will use a simple command, and the command is sudo apt. update and just hit enter give it your password and again hit enter so we are done with the update and now we need to upgrade our system to do so we need to use the same command except at the end we will just write upgrade again hit enter and now it will upgrade our system number 2 multimedia codecs while well, multimedia codecs are essential for some audio video file formats and many other applications in a linux distribution in deep in linux we get a lot of them as default but still some do not get shipped with deep in linux so we need to install them manually to install the multimedia codecs use the command that i will use in my terminal and you can also find that command in the description so this is the command just write this command and hit enter give it your password and now it will download the remaining multimedia codecs into your deep in linux and then you are good to go number 3 choose the closest mirror as linux distributions use the selected mirror to download different softwares application packages and libraries for the system but sometime the default mirror is not the optimal one and because of that the system takes more time to download and install software packages libraries etc into the system we can change the mirror in our deep in linux i will use the command that will force the system to select the nearest mirror on its own and as a result the download process will get faster first of all let's open the list of mirror in our system and the command for that is sudo nano space backslash etc backslash apt backslash sources dot list and after that just hit enter here this is the mirror that is available into our system and now here i will add a command that will force our system to choose the nearest one i will just paste it here this is the command and after that just press control x to save this file press y and now again hit enter we are done with this one number 4 change the search engine as deep in linux is from china and when we open the browser and search for something the results are shown in chinese language let me open my browser so this is my browser and here if i search for anything let's say i write here debian hit enter it will show us the results in chinese language so this is a really big problem for a lot of user go to your menu and from here go to your settings and now here we have a section that says search engine click on this drop down arrow and from here select bing google or yahoo either one will do the work i'll go with google and now google is my default web browser and now if i search for anything the results will appear in english language so i will again search for debian and here we can see we have all the results in english language Number 5 install synaptic manager while well, with the help of apt command we can install packages from the terminal on the other hand we have a synaptic manager that is a gui interface and with the help of it we can install up to 7000 packages in our deep in linux to install synaptic package manager we need to use a command in our terminal and the command is sudo apt install minus y synaptic and after that you just need to hit enter so we are done with downloading the synaptic package manager actually i have already done that 
and now I will just search for Synaptic Manager. I will just write here Synaptic and here we have Synaptic Package Manager. So this is how it looks like and on the left side you have different categories of packages that you can choose. For example, if I go with the email, here I have different packages related to my email. You just need to select those packages that you want to install. I will just mark it and I will keep on selecting those one that I want to install into my system. And the good thing is you can install all of them at once. After that, you just need to click on this apply button and your packages will get installed into your deep in Linux. Number six, install firewall. Even though the Linux distributions are safer than the Windows operating system, we should still have a firewall for more security. By default, we do not have the firewall in deep in Linux, so we can install one. To install a firewall, I will use a command in the terminal and the command is sudo apt install minus f u f w and you just need to hit enter. It will download the firewall into your deep in Linux and then we will enable that firewall. To do so, write a command sudo space ufw space enable and here we will have a message that will say that firewall is active and it is enabled on the system. After enabling this, we can configure the rules for outgoing and incoming traffic onto our deep in Linux. So let me clear my terminal first. The first command is sudo ufw space default space deny space incoming and just hit enter. This command will deny any incoming traffic onto your deep in Linux. Now it says default incoming policy change to deny. Here I will write another command and that command is sudo ufw default space allow space outgoing and this command will allow all the outgoing traffic from your deep in Linux. So these were some of the command that you can use to configure your firewall onto your deep in Linux. Number seven, install Python. Many people use the Linux distributions for programming purposes and deep in Linux is perfect distribution when it comes to programming tasks. We need to install Python in our system and we can do it by using the terminal and the command to do so is sudo apt install space python and just hit enter. So we are done with python and now let's check the version of python. To do so I will just write here python3 space dash dash version hit enter. Here we have 3.7.3 .3 version of python into our deep in Linux. Number 8 install java. Just like python java is another very prominent language and for many programming environments in your Linux distributions you need java. I'll show you that how you can install the java. The command is sudo apt install default dash jdk. This command will download the default jdk suitable for your machine on its own. If you want to download a particular one for that you have to use a different command. I will just hit enter. Here it is asking for the confirmation because it will require 567 megabytes of space to download and install the Java into our deep in Linux. Number nine, speed up the boot time. Well, when we boot the system, it takes at least five seconds to boot it up. So if you have only the Debian Linux installed, you can decrease the grub time to zero and the system will boot up more quickly. To do so, write a command sudo space vi space backslash etc backslash default backslash grub and hit enter. Here the grub time out is five seconds and now we need to change that. To go into insert mode, press ctrl i and we are into our insert mode. Now I will change this one and I will change it to zero and now our system will not take a lot of time to boot up. Number 10. Shortcut to kill unresponsive apps. There are a lot of times when system hangs and do not respond. But in deep in Linux, we can set a shortcut to kill such unresponsive applications. 
To do so, open your settings and then go to your keyboards and languages section. And here we have a section that says shortcuts. So just click on it. So these are some of the shortcuts that are predefined into your Deepin Linux. These are related to your system and if you scroll down, these are related to Windows and at the last, we have some shortcuts related to workspace. In case if you want to add some more shortcuts, just click on this plus button and here you have to give the name to this newly created shortcut. You can name it anything. There is no compulsion regarding the name. I will name it as kill applications and in terms of command, you have to be careful because the commands are predefined, you cannot change it. Well, to kill unresponsive apps, the command is x kill, and there is no space between x and kill. After that, you just need to set your shortcut. You can set anything until unless it is not previously used. I will use Ctrl plus Alt plus K key onto my keyboard, and here we have those keys. After that, you just need to click on this add button and our shortcut has been added successfully as you can see under the custom shortcut section. Now in order to use the shortcut that we have just created, we need to press those keys that we have selected as the shortcut keys. And the keys are Ctrl plus Alt plus K. And now if I click on my settings app anywhere, the settings app will get closed. So this is how you can close your unresponsive app with the help of a shortcut. Number 11, install time shift. Surprisingly, we do not have the time shift installed by default in Deepin Linux. Basically, it is a recovery tool. And with the help of this tool, you can have the backup of your system by creating a point. When your system runs into a problem, you can go back to that point that you created. And mostly for experiment purposes, time shift is very good tool. To install it, just write sudo apt install time shift and just hit enter. Well, I have already installed it into my system, so I'll just show you. So this is how time shift looks like. So from here, you can create a different recovery points into your Deepin Linux and then you are good to go. Number 12, install htop. The top is a terminal based utility that gives the information about system resources. Here we have all the information about different processes, users of those processes and the resources that are being used by each process. And then we also have some of the summary of the information like RAM usages, swappiness values and many other things. We have one more tool or you can say utility that can show this information in more sophisticated way. And the name of that tool is htop. To install it, I will just write sudo apt install htop hit enter and I have already installed that one as well so I will just open it here. So this is how it looks like and here we have different color depicting different information and now it is more easier to understand all this information. So that was all about the htop and now let's move on to the next one. Number 13 install tlp we know that Linux distributions consume a little bit more power. To make sure that our system uses the optimal resources in terms of power, we should install TLP into our system. To install TLP, we need a command and the command is sudo apt install tlp space tlp rdw and just hit enter. It will download and install the TLP into your system and I have already done that. After you are done installing the TLP, you need to enable it into your system and the command for that is sudo systemctl space enable space TLP and just hit enter. It will enable the TLP into your system. Number 14, default applications. You will have more than one application for one type of work in your Deepin Linux. So we should make some of the applications as default. First of all, I'll go to my default applications from my control panel or my settings. So here we have different categories of applications. For example, for web page, we have only one browser and that is the default one. And let's say you have Firefox and Google as well. So you can change and make any one of those three as a default web browser. For mail, you have the same option for text, then music, 
then for videos we also have two options and for this one you can make one of them as a default then for our pictures and for our terminal same is the case so this is how you can have your different application as a default one into your dip in linux and now let's move on to the last one number 15 install gimp gimp is a small but compelling image manipulation software and we can use this tool to edit our images and pictures I'm sure that you will want this tool into your collection of programs and to install it into your deep in Linux, open your app store. And here we have GIMP onto our home page or you can say onto our main page. From here, just install this one and enjoy using this powerful tool. So we are done with all the 15 things that we should do in order to get the best out of our deep in Linux. And now at the end, let's have one more application that is essential for any operating system or for any user. And that is some online repository to have backup of your data. You can install either OneDrive, Google Drive, or you can install Dropbox. In here, I will just search for Dropbox. So here we have the Dropbox. So just install it and have the backup of your data anytime. So that was all about this video. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.